In this video, we'll be showing you how to create a flat cap in vStitcher. Let's start by importing a DXF file with the hat's pattern pieces. Before importing the file, make sure that the shape rotation is in the right direction. You can preview it before importing. Now, we'll need to mirror each pattern piece. We'll select the center edge for each piece and click on the Create Edge Symmetry button in the context view. Next, we'll arrange the pattern pieces on the avatar head's cluster. For easier manipulation with the pieces, we'll move each piece to a separate cluster. You can also change the wrap type from the drop-down menu and choose a suitable wrap for each shape. The wrap type determines how the cluster wraps on the avatar. We'll use a gizmo to arrange the patterns in the 3D window. Let's switch back to the home workspace and stitch the pattern pieces together. You can use both the 2D and the 3D window to make sure you're using the correct edges for the stitching. Now, we can go ahead and simulate. We can select all pieces and lower the grid value in the context view for a smoother simulation. For the next step, we'll replace the default fabric with a new material from the BrowseWorks Cloud Library. Let's start by downloading a wool material. You can easily replace the default fabric by dragging the wool over it. Let's clone the wool fabric and rename it. This material will be for the hat's shield, therefore we need to change the fabric physics. You can find the hardware physics under the MISC section. We'll change some of the values. Let's set the mass value to 1000, thickness to 4, bend to 250,000, and shear to 2000. Now let's assign this material to the shield pattern piece. These values work for the shield, but feel free to experiment with your own settings. Now we'll simulate again and use the styling tool if needed. Next, we'll create the lining inside of the cap. We'll hide the avatar for a better view of the inside of the hat. And go to the library tab to download the lining material from the woven section. We'll then clone the wool material and group it together with the lining fabric. In the context view, make sure to use the physics of the wool fabric for the group physics. You can change the group physics through the drop-down menu. The yellow dot on the thumbnail indicates which physics are in use. Let's assign this fabric to the top piece of the hat. To create the lining fabric, we'll edit the fabric's visibility, disable the back side of the wool fabric, and disable the face side of the lining. Now let's recolor the lining to match the flat cap. Next, we'll add some ready top stitching and piping and assign it to the edges to get a more realistic look. Don't forget to recolor these seams to match the rest. Now, we'll add some 3D trims to uplift the flat cap. Let's download a tack button and a burr from the YKK button library. First, we'll assign the tack button, which will also work as a fastener. And then we'll assign the burr to mimic the real live snap button. Let's unbutton the tack button to have a clear view of both trims. Also, make sure that the circumferences of both 3D trims are the same.
For an even more realistic look, we'll change the metalness and roughness values of the buttons. To learn more about assignable trims, check out our Importing Handbags into vStitcher tutorial. Now let's save a snapshot in the Resource tab. We want to save both the Unbuttoned and Buttoned option. Before buttoning up the cap, we'll use a styling tool to refine the simulation. Make sure that the shield piece is locked under the Advanced Styling tab. Let's button up the cap and use again the styling tools to refine the look. Now let's save a new snapshot. Now we'll return to the Materials tab to add a new artwork and assign it to the top pattern piece. In the context menu, we'll change the scale of the diffuse map and convert it to an all over print. We'll repeat these steps for all the pieces in use. Let's hide the avatar again to check if the lining is visible. If it's not visible, this means we need to disable the backside of the all-over print. We'll also check the used lower layer maps for all groups of fabrics to ensure the all-over print has the same structure as the wool fabric. For the last step, we'll create new colorways in the Colorways workspace. We'll use the 3D window layout to view the changes in real time. Let's start by cloning the first option and recolor it. We'll create three colorways in total, pink, brown, and green. When all the colorways are ready, We'll change the layout to grid view to see all the colorways side by side. And there you have it! An easy way to create a flat cap in vStitcher. A great way to complete any outfit. To learn more, visit our help center at help.browseware.com.